today we're going to be making keto apple crisp. And you say, apple crisp? Apples aren't keto. You're right. There are no apples in this apple crisp. To begin with, you start with apple flavored tea, and I'm using cinnamon apple spice from Celestial Seasonings. Um, any apple tea will work. And you use four tea bags and you pour two cups of boiling water over that. And you let that steep for 10 minutes. So I have my timer on 10 minutes. I'm gonna put this over here so we can prepare the apples. Actually, it's zucchini. So I already have most of them cut up because I thought you're not gonna wanna sit here and watch me cut up all these zucchini. You um, need two pounds of zucchini. And it's probably about five or six small ones. You can use larger ones too, but if you use larger ones, you're going to have to um, take the seeds out. So first thing you do is you peel the zucchini. Very exciting to watch me peel a zucchini, I know, but it'll get more exciting in a minute. And now what you do, I, I cut it in half because it's easier for me to work with. And then you slice it lengthwise. And you see there are no seeds in here, so I don't have to remove them. And you just cut them in a quarter inch slices. And then I'll just add them to my bowl. So now we're still waiting for the, the tea bags to see, steep. And once that's done, we'll be back with the rest. The tea bags have been seeping for 10 minutes, so time to remove them. And to this, you add all of your zucchini. So you put all the zucchini in here, trying to put it in gently so it doesn't splash all over me. Now the zucchini, is, this is, seems like a lot of zucchini, but we're gonna boil this for 10 minutes or so until they get soft. And you'll be amazed at how much they shrink down. Now we'll go over to the stove and we'll turn this on. So I'm gonna put it on high until it starts to boil because it hasn't boiled yet. So um, we're gonna boil it for 10 minutes. So while that's getting ready, I'm going to do the crisp, the crumble crisp topping. So here I, I have 46 grams of pork rind flour. And I do have a video on how to make pork rind flour if you need to know. We have 25 grams of xylitol. Again, I'm very careful around my pets, which is why I like to keep it in covered containers. And we have 26 grams of melted coconut oil. If you're not dairy free, you can use butter, but we like to keep it dairy free. You just mix all of that together. So it's all incorporated and we'll let this sit until the apples or the zucchini is ready. So you might wonder why I'm here with my cup of coffee. Well, I used to watch Julia Child all the time. I loved watching Julia Child cook. I actually have some of her CDs for her cooking. Now, Julia did not drink with a cup of coffee, so you're saying, well, what does this have to do with Julia Child? No, she always drank with a glass of wine. I thought, if I ever had a glass of wine while I'm cooking, it would be total disaster. So instead, I'm drinking my cup of coffee. So the zucchini has been boiling for 10 minutes. It takes a while to bring it up to boil. So once it's up to a rapid boil, that's when you start timing the 10 minutes. And as you can see, they look quite different than they did uh, when we first put them in. They're opaque, 
So now we have to drain them. So I'm going to be taking it over to the sink and I'm going to drain it in a colander. So now that has to drain. It'll, it'll drain really well. Just give it a few shakes, get all of the water out of it. So now we finish mixing this up and we to this we add we have 25 grams of xylitol again. If you have pets, be very careful. A teaspoon of cinnamon. And also the cinnamon will vary. If, if you want more cinnamon, you can put more in. But since my uh, tea was apple spice, it had enough cinnamon in it. Then a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg. And I gr grate my own nutmeg. A quarter of a teaspoon, I don't know. I just grate. So I kind of guess at what a quarter of a teaspoon would be. Three tablespoons of lemon juice. You can use, you can do it from real lemons or this to me is easy. Works just as well. We have a half a teaspoon of better stevia glycerite. Again, I get this on Wellovate and it's not bitter. Then I'm, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to mix this up, get it all blended. It's warm enough for the xylitol to melt. And then I'm going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of xanthan gum. Why am I adding this? Well, apple crisps, normally made with apples, and the apples have sugar and pectin in it, and that will naturally... Um, gooey. But this is zucchini, which doesn't have all the pectin, doesn't have all the sugar, and it needs something to make it like real apples. You put this in either a pie plate or an 8x8 eight eight baking dish, and we're just going to Use an eight by eight baking dish today. Seems a little juicy. I probably could have drained the zucchini better, but it's all going to work out. So on top of that, I crumble the crumb topping that we made earlier. So you just, with your fingers, crumble it around. I use this crumb topping on a lot of things. I have a um, crustless pumpkin pie that I make that I put this on top. And you don't even miss the crust because it's a nice little crispy topping. Again, it's made with pork rind, so there's no carbs in the topping. Well, you have the xylitol, but... Now I have my oven. My oven is um, does not come to temperature, so normally I'd bake it 325 for 25 minutes but I'm going to be baking this at 350 for 25 minutes. So I'll see you back here in 25 minutes when we get to taste it. So the apple crisp is out of the oven and it's cooled down for about a half hour. So now it's time to serve it. Now I'm doing it two ways. I have my trusty little whipped cream maker. I have coconut milk in here. So first we're going to do that. Add a little bit of whipped cream. <gasps> that was a major disaster. That's never happened before. It had broken before I put the nozzle on it and I guess I just didn't fix it well enough. But the other way is going to be much easier. I have some vanilla ice cream. And I'm just going to put a little bit on because I don't want a lot. So, <laughs> oh, I have a major mess in my kitchen. I'll first taste with the ice cream. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that is good. And now with the whipped cream. That's really good too. Now, Carl's going to taste it. <laughs> you will notice he's got whipped cream on his shirt. His whipped cream went everywhere. 
I didn't know this was such a dangerous job being cameraman. But anyway, the payoff is coming. So this is the dairy-free ice cream with the apple. Mmm. If I didn't know, if I closed my eyes, I would not know that that's not apple. Now for the disaster plate with the whipped cream. Mmm. Really good.